Hi, welcome to Oma's Kitchen. Oregano. Calzones are an Italian style savory turnover and they can be filled with just about anything. Fleischmann's makes a yeast just for pizza crust and there's even a recipe on the back. Uh, the center one has a recipe for pizza crust on it. We're going to use that. So I'm going to cut off one of the packets of yeast and I'm going to cut it open. You can see it down in there. And I'm going to put together the homemade dough for these calzones. I'm shaking some all-purpose flour here to add some air to it. And I'm going to put two cups of flour into my mixing bowl. Just shake it off level. This dough comes together pretty quickly. I'm going to warm up three quarters of a cup of water in the microwave. And you don't want to make it too warm. If you make it too warm, you'll kill off your yeast. So the recipe calls for 120 to 130 degrees on the water. If you stick your pinky in there and it seems too hot, it is. I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half of sugar. I'm going to add a teaspoon. This is a half a teaspoon measure. I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. And I like to cover that up on its own side of the mixing bowl with some of the flour. And I put the yeast in the other side of the mixing bowl. And that way they don't touch each other directly until I can add the oil and water to the dough. I find the yeast works better if it's not mixed in with the salt directly. Now we add in three tablespoons of olive oil and this really helps a pizza dough hold together and become soft and really easy to work with. So that goes right in the mixing bowl. And then we add our warm water and that's it. That's all the ingredients for your own homemade pizza dough. I can already smell the yeast starting to work when I turn on the mixer. I love that smell. I'm going to put the recipe up here for you while my dough starts to come together. You're looking for a soft dough that pulls away from the edges of the bowl. If it looks a little too dry, you can add another tablespoon or two of water as you need it. Let each tablespoon mix in well before you add any more. I only needed an extra tablespoon of water for my dough to come together and it became this beautiful soft slightly sticky dough in the bottom of my bowl. That's exactly what you're looking for. We're going to cover this over and set it aside while we put the fillings together for the calzones. Pizza dough really benefits from being allowed to rest on the counter for 20 to 30 minutes. I'm making meat lovers calzones today, so I have some provolone, salami, and pepperoni here. I have a couple of cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. I'm going to use jarred mushrooms, and I have a sweet onion. I'm going to use about half of that. While I cut up my sweet onion, I wanted to mention the jarred mushrooms. I'm using those because fresh mushrooms, when you cook them, they put out a ton of moisture and they could make my calzones kind of soggy. When you use jarred mushrooms, they've been put through the canning process and they've already released a lot of their moisture. So I can just cook them off with the onions in a pan. I can drain them and then they're ready to go. I'm going to use about half a pound of sweet Italian sausage and I'm going to cook that in the pan with the onions and mushrooms. I've added about a tablespoon of olive oil and I will break the sausage up and cook it over medium heat for a little while before I add the veggies. I have some leftover store-bought pizza sauce here. I'm going to include that with some tomato sauce some herbs, and some port wine to make a homemade marinara. Now you can use any store-bought pizza sauce, 
spaghetti sauce, or marinara if you'd like, or make your own homemade marinara. Not all calzones have tomato sauce in them. Sometimes it's just the meat or vegetables inside, and then you dip it into a marinara sauce that you have on the side. I'm doing a little of both. I've included about a quarter cup of port wine, and I'm just adding in oregano, basil, parsley, onion powder, salt, and a little bit of garlic powder. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know that I have a little bit of sensitivity to garlic. Too much of it will upset my stomach. So if you are a big fan of garlic, you could add more garlic powder or even dice up some garlic and cook it in with your sauce. This is totally to my taste. I just mix all that in together and then cover it and let it cook over medium low heat and let it boil together to boil off some of the port wine. I finish breaking up the sausage and give the marinara a stir. Then right as it's starting to caramelize, I add the onions to the sausage. I stir that in together a little bit and then push it to the side so that I can add the mushrooms in and have them actually hit the bottom of the pan. I want them to brown a little bit with the onions and sausage. I'm going to put my recipe for the filling for eight meat lovers calzones up here for you but you can make it a totally veggie calzone or any combination that you like. Now the dough has been resting on the counter for a good 30 minutes. It's become very pliable and easy to work with. Pull it out of the bowl and you can throw it around on your cutting board a little bit. You know, if you're irritated with someone, take out your aggressions on your dough and then flatten it out into a round that you can cut with a pizza cutter. What we're gonna do is cut this into eight pieces. This will make eight good sized calzones. I know I've said it often before, but make sure you wash your hands really well before you work with your calzone dough. Now we take our pizza cutter and we cut the dough in half. We cut each of those in half and then each of those in half again. And if you don't get it exactly right, that's okay. If one's too big, just cut a little bit off of it and add it to the smallest one. What you want is about eight equal pieces of dough that you can form into calzones. You'll only be working with one piece of dough at a time to keep the rest from drying out, put them back into the bowl and cover them over. And that way you can pull out each one as you need it. Roll it out into an approximate circle. And as you can see, you don't have to make it exactly a circle. You want it about seven inches around. And then you're gonna add a couple tablespoons of the marinara sauce there in the bottom. Spread it out a little bit like you would on a pizza a couple tablespoons of the sausage, onion, and mushroom filling. Make sure it doesn't go to the edge. You want to be able to seal that up. Next, we will put a couple of tablespoons of mozzarella over the top. On top of that, a couple of pieces of pepperoni, a couple of pieces of salami, and a half a piece of provolone. Stretch the dough out a little bit and fold it over the top. This dough is very easy to work with. 
You want to take your fingers and press the edge together all the way around. I'm sorry, I'm a little off camera there. I'll be better on the next one. Fold the bottom over the top and press down. You'll see here. See, fold it over the top. and press down with your fingers or even the edge of a spoon. I'll show you that too. You want to get that edge completely sealed. And then you're going to pick it up and move it to an aluminum foil lined cookie sheet. So there it is. I take a sharp knife and I cut three slits in the top to let some of the air out as the dough cooks. Now I can show you rolling out the next one. I start rolling a very light touch and I move the dough around as I start to make it into a flat circle. This helps make it pretty round. But you want to make it fairly thin. This dough will puff up in the oven. Remember this recipe makes eight meat lovers calzones. I'm only showing you the first four. I always do this in two batches on two different cookie sheets. That way I can have one cooking in the oven while I roll out and fill the second batch. So we have our two tablespoons of marinara sauce, two tablespoons of the filling, two tablespoons of the shredded mozzarella, some pepperoni, salami, and provolone. This is a good time to preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit while you finish rolling these. Stretch the dough as you need to, to be able to get all of the edges to seal shut. Press down with your fingers. Make sure there's no little bits of filling in the way. And then as you pinch it shut, roll up all of the edges from the bottom to the top. And then I will show you using a spoon as well. Using the spoon helps seal the edges together, but be careful not to press too far into the dough so you don't create a hole right there at the edge of your dough. Then pick up your calzone and move it to your cookie tray. Cut your three slits in the top to help the steam escape. Now I like to use peanut oil for the outside of the calzones. I think it helps the edges crisp up a little bit. I find that olive oil tends to scald at high temperatures. So you might want to use canola oil or peanut oil. Brush a nice coating of the oil all over the calzones and especially around the edges. And we're going to bake them at 450 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes. Depends on your oven, so you might want to keep an eye on them over the last couple of minutes of baking. And here they are coming out of the oven. This is the first four out of eight. They're a beautiful dark golden brown. You can see the edges stayed sealed shut, and these just came out of the oven beautiful. You should smell my kitchen. I serve them with the extra marinara sauce on the side, and here you have it, 
homemade calzones. Thank you for joining me in Oma's Kitchen. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll upload more tasty videos soon. And a special shout out to Moon Pie and Lil Bit. Till next time. Oregano.